Did you see that? Town centers are you see how it looks like a fairy tale? Welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to be checking middle age houses. Actually, the title of this one is Half Timbered Houses and Nuru Ally Ways. Thank you for coming back, and let's dive right into this one together, guys. Historic city gates, church towers, and half timbered houses. Germany has many towns with well preserved medieval architecture, much of it on the UNESCO World Heritage List. These medieval town centers are uniquely beautiful. See how it looks like a fairy tale, like it just looks like an imaginary world. It's beautiful. I mean, I think this is where they got the design from most cartoons from because I've not seen anything close to this kind of design apart from cartoon movies. You guys know it, right? Each telling a story of their own. Stay tuned to find out where to find them and join us on this journey back in time. Did you see that? Woo! Wow. We begin in Trier a city in Germany's southwest, on the banks of the Mosul River. It was founded 2,000 years ago by the Romans, who built the Porta Nigra, Latin for Black Gate, among other things. Oh, wow. Today, Porta Nigra is one of the city's best-known sites. Looks Asian, though. After the end of the Roman Empire, Trier evolved into a medieval city. Trier Cathedral, for instance, was built in the location of a former Roman residence. Consecrated around 300 AD, it is considered wow. one of Germany's oldest churches. This mix like. of Roman and medieval heritage makes Trier well worth visiting. Next up, Charles the Great who ordered the construction of countless stunning edifices in Aachen. The most impressive is Aachen Cathedral, completed around 800 AD, wow. an absolute must-see. City colors! Oh my god! Inside, you oh can admire god. Charles the Great's golden tomb and his throne, where German kings were crowned for hundreds of years, making Aachen a medieval power center. be sure to visit Aachen's Christmas market and sample some Aachener Printen, a type of gingerbread said to date back to the Middle Ages. The city is as famous for this festive treat as it is for its magnificent cathedral. Now we head to the town of Quedlinburg in eastern Germany with its collegiate church of St. Servatius, already visible from afar. It was founded by King Henry I in the 10th century, who also made Quedlinburg a wealthy town. This is evident from the cathedral treasures, comprised of precious gold and ivory objects. Wow! The church is surrounded by over 1,000 medieval half-timbered buildings, the largest number anywhere in Germany. It's wow. a major tourist magnet, so its alleys can get very crowded. Moving on to Erfurt, a city that became a powerful trading center. Being located on the ancient Via Regia trade route made Erfurt a prosperous place, as visitors can tell from the richly ornate Old Town facades. When in Erfurt, don't miss out on the iconic Kremerbrücke or Merchant's Bridge. It is lined with half-timbered buildings like in medieval times, where today visitors can shop, visit galleries and cafes. We've got a culinary tip too. Treat yourself to a real Thuringian sausage, or why not too? From eastern Germany, we travel north to the port city of Lübeck, another major trading town in medieval times. Holsten Tor, Lübeck's red brick city gates with the twin towers, welcomes visitors to the old town. 
Its layout has remained unchanged since the Middle Ages, and Lübeck's churches and remarkable town hall are bound to leave an impression on visitors. The city could afford to build such gorgeous buildings thanks to the lucrative maritime trade. Wow. So these Ships things brought the almonds Aziz. and exotic spices to the city, what? among other things, key ingredients for making marzipan. Lübeck marzipan is very popular, and you should definitely try some. There's even a minute old town made from marzipan to admire. From northern Germany, we head south to Bamberg. Notice something unusual about the town hall? It was built in the middle of the river. According to legend, the bishop didn't grant citizens any land for the town hall, so they took matters into their own hands, rammed stakes into the river and built it there instead. Bamberg Old Town boasts plenty of quaint buildings, alleys. And great pubs. With so many different kinds of beer brewed here, some regard Bamberg as Germany's beer capital. Definitely try a glass of aromatic smoked beer when visiting. I don't Our last stop beer. takes us to another Bavarian town that's popular like no other, Rottenburg of der Tauber. Practically unchanged since the 13th century, it offers oh. lots and lots of well-preserved medieval architecture. What better place to experience history firsthand? This is why I like Germany. The ability this ancient to preserve history. The long city wall is fully intact, encircling the old town, a rare architectural gem. And don't forget to climb the town hall tower for a grandiose view of the medieval old town below. Oh my. Just traveled guys and I'm back. That was really beautiful. I mean, there's something I love about Germany and that is the ability to preserve culture and history. Like you can see it progressively in all the road trip videos I've been checking. There is always a way to preserve all the ancient cultures and <laughs> everything, everything. <laughs> there's just a way and it's very beautiful. Like I really I won't have believed that these kinds of buildings and details, like details buildings, still exist. Like you could see the history detail on the body of the building, and that is beautiful. Like I will only imagine because I mostly see that in movies. So I just imagine that they made it out to act the movie or something. But I'm super impressed that there's something like this in existence somewhere, and this is really beautiful. I can't wait. You guys are making my trip closer, closer, closer than planned. <laughs> All right, guys. See you next time. And whenever I get a scholarship, I'm going to visit that place and I'm going to see all these things for myself firsthand, guys. Until next time. Bye-bye.